Hello everyone, Bridget Casey with Bridget Casey Designs here today for scrapbookpal.com. Here's a sneak peek at the project that we are going to be creating with the Tim Holtz Colorize Celebrate die set. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use those two balloons and I thought we would use the balloon string but we didn't end up doing that. We use Distress Oxide in Cracked Pistachio, Shaded Lilac, Saltwater Taffy, Squeeze Lemonade, and Speckled Egg. Some VersaFine Claire Nocturne Ink, Shimmer Powder, in Lunar Rocket, as well some clear embossing powder from Lawn Fawn that I did not show, some Distress Watercolor cardstock, we'll use a Distress Sprayer, and the Pink Fresh Studio, my favorite things to say too. We actually end up using two sentiments from this set. So there are all our supplies we're gonna be using today, just kind of wiggling them around so you can see a one frame. So now I've got my puppy pad down, I've got my Distress Watercolor cardstock, and I'm applying the Lunar Rocket, and I'm spraying it with water. So I'm putting pigment and spraying it around. I did with a paintbrush and tried to move it around some. I just want a really light gray tone. I went really soft and pastel today. So I just wanted something on the background. And I'll show you, it's not very different from where I started, but it's in real life, you can see the difference. Um, I will show you the original Distress card stock here and the our panel. So you see there's ink on a palette and I'm die cutting the balloons. I had an idea. I smushed all the inks um, onto one palette and that didn't end up working great. So um, I'm going to skip that. But so I'm die cutting the balloons and we will cut to where the balloons are all die cut in just a second because it's boring to watch <laughs> die cutting after die cutting. So we have all our balloon pieces and I started with cracked pistachio, then shaded lilac and rubbing them in there. Then I did the uh, saltwater taffy, which you can't see, I apologize. And then I decided not to do it that way. So I started doing it with one ink. So I put squeeze lemonade down, sprayed it, and I'm dipping my balloons in, wipe it off with a towel. Now I'm going with speckled egg, wipe it off, shaded lilac, put my balloon in, and then wipe it off. And then we're gonna go saltwater taffy, and then wipe it off. And then now we're gonna heat set them because we're going to adhere these together. Now you could use a darker layer for one of your layers. I used basically what I got by using the water. So we're using thin 3D foam squares on the back of the piece that has the cut. Then we'll remove the adhesive and line them up on the bottom layer. These thin 3D foam squares are the magic. It gives a little bit of dimension and allows me to have more dimension later because it's not a huge amount. They're, they're a nice size. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our two sentiments from the My Favorite Things to Say 2 set with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Then we'll go ahead and we will heat set with some Lawn Fawn Clear Embossing Powder. We'll heat that up. I like to heat from the back. I think I get a nice smooth result that way. We'll now trim it down to four by five and a quarter. And now comes the thread. <laughs> so I thought that the thread gave, uh, it added to my softer look as opposed to using the cardstock balloon strings. Um, I wanted to be able to tie them all together at the end. And I honestly, when there's a balloon, I like thread for balloon strings. I, I can't lie. I can't, I can't joke. I can't kid. I got to be honest here. Keeping it real. Got to have uh, the thread with balloons. So I'm going ahead and I'm tying um, a knot, just a plain knot, uh, twice. And I'm using my tweezers to help me pull that through um, here and there, as you can see. And once you have those all trimmed and tied, then you can start to lay out your arrangement. So I'm laying them out. I tried to keep the cracked pistachio and the speckled egg away from each other because they were very similar. I was surprised how similar they were in color. The speckled egg is the top and cracked pistachio is at the bottom. Now we're gonna use Barely Art glue to glue down the squeezed lemonade. Then we're gonna look at the speckled egg and the shaded lilac. We're gonna glue the shaded lilac one down first, then we're gonna add glue just on the sides of the speckled egg balloon, and that way it will hold it up with the other balloons there. So I'm gonna pull the strings and I'm gonna use some like tape, like washi tape, um, to just hold them in place so they're not everywhere. Now I have my cracked pistachio and my saltwater taffy. So I'm gonna put a foam square 
on the bottom. These are the regular sized ones. And then glue on the top to hold it in place perfectly. I want it to look like I'm holding a beautiful arrangement of balloons for my dear friend, which this card is for. And this one again, I'll put um, a regular size foam square on there and some glue and then put that in place. Then I'm going to pull all the strings around the back because I was going to tie a bow. That was my goal. So as you may be able to tell where I'm saying that was my goal, it did not happen. I even used my tweezers. I was trying to tie a bow and it just, it wasn't happening. And honestly, I just got too frustrated with it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with a knot here and it's going to look like a beautiful little arrangement of balloons. And I could always go back in um, when I've calmed down a little bit. And I could um, add a little bow there. So I'm just kind of still still hoping. And no, nope, that's where I gave up. <laughs> the scissors come in and that's it. So then I'm going to tape all the strings down in the back with that uh, washi tape, trim off the excess. And now we need to put it on something. I tried holographic paper and it was too much. It took away from the soft tone and feeling. So I went with navy. I then cut my card base from Nina at five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It'll be a side folding portrait card. So I'm using some adhesive to put my navy cardstock onto my white card base. Then some foam here that will pop up my arrangement. Just going fast so you don't have to watch that. I do put a little glue so I have a scotch of wiggle time when I put it down. And then this will complete our project for the day. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped help you to create some beautiful cards. Head on over to the Scrapbook Pal channel to comment, like, and subscribe. We can't wait to see you for the next project. Have a great day.